guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am familiar it's been a minute to year with life happening most especially with school tests practicals lectures if you're new to this youtube channel welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so i want to say a big thank you to my 1000 plus subscribers thank you so much for subscribing commenting liking both my shots and my food videos it means a lot to me and if you're new and you would like to join in you can hit on the big red subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified for new video uploads just like this and do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up let's get right into it after sectioning my hair into four boxes of camera, I will sprint my hair with water with my mini mist spray bottle before finger detangling. Then after finger detangling for some moments, I'm just going in with my wild toothed comb to detangle my hair properly. A detailed detangling step-by-step -step video will be linked in the description box down below so ensure to check it out after this video. Then I'm just brushing out my edges with my demon brush. So the product I'll be using for this mini twist tutorial is my leave-in conditioning milk and I'm also going to be using this coil keeper from an African brand called Bell Star. I wanted to try out this and some of their products, so I purchased some after seeing some reviews on it and I wanted to review it myself. But I'm not going to be using the leave in conditioner in this video. I'll be doing a product review in a video coming up very soon. So, this is the two combo I'll be using for today's video. So, now that my hair is properly hydrated, I'm just going in with my favorite leave in conditioning milk and massaging it properly into my hair strands. Please do not put your leave-in conditioner to your scalp it is your hair strands you want to soften up not your scalp then i'm going to go in with my air butter you can use any air butter of your choice but i'm just using my african shea butter for easy penetration of the air butter into your hair strands ensure you emulsify this product properly by rubbing it between your palms before you apply to your hair strands during the application of the air butter into your hair strands ensure you apply this air butter also to your hair tips because this is the most fragile and delicate portion of your hair so i got some flakes of the shea butter in my hair since i and whipped it but if you use the machine to whip yours it's probably going to not have any form of flakes then i was having a little bit of difficulty using the pump of the coil keeper and the consistency was not really it for me it was quite watery but i actually have no problem since the product said it was a water-based product but i didn't notice any definition at all when i first went in with my wild to take home but when i went in extra with the coil creeper and i used a hard brush that i recently got i noticed a little bit of the definition so then i'll be going in by sectioning my hair for the sectioning i will not be sectioning with any comb of any sort my scalp was quite sore at the moment since i had not weaved or done anything on my hair for the past three weeks so i just used my hand to finger part my hair for each section of the air, I'm going to go in by using two pumps of the coil keeper. Then I'm twisting using the anti-clockwise method of twisting, which is my right hand over my left hand. Using three fingers on my left hand as a form of anchorage, I am twisting closely so that I can achieve a normal twist than a loose twist. For a loose twist, you actually get the actual length of your hair, while for a mini twist just like this, your hair actually shrinks because you are going to be twisting in closed strands but for a loose twist you're going to be twisting in long strands so i'm sure to check out the link in the description box down below on my loose twist tutorial it is beginner friendly and it is quite easy to understand repeating the same process after finger parting my hair i'm just going to go in by using two pumps of the coil keeper then i'm going to twist using the anti-clockwise method which is my right hand over my left hand using three fingers on my left hand as a form of anchorage to create a loop of twists do not forget to twirl the ends of your hair to get that bounce and coil while editing this video we're able to unlock the community tab feature which is another cool feature on here on youtube as it allows for easier communication in forms of polls picture content so you can vote for the types of videos you would like to see during the week and you can also vote for the time you would like to see them two community posts are up already so you can go ask your questions and you can also engage in the polls ongoing
and also do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below on what you've learned or if you've tried out any of this of my methods in your mini twists or in any of your hair if you've tried it out just let me know in the comment section down below or if you're going to try it out let me know in the comment section down below so for any portion of your hair that may have dried out all you need to do is to rehydrate it by using a few pumps of water in your spray bottle and just apply your curl keeper and twist it up and you're good to go so i forgot to mention this important step for your two mini twist to come out beautiful as mine will ensure the twist per roll increases i mean by this is that for the first roll i only had one twist for the second roll i had twist, two twists so as you're moving up the rows ensure that the twist increases so you can get the same size of twist across all rows because you cannot have one big twist one small twist that makes absolutely no sense and the beauty of this style comes out when you have a lot of twists you can either go smaller than this twist but i do not advise you go bigger than this So far, this is how my mini twist looks for the first half of my hair and my edges are looking really really good because I've been using an oil that I made myself so I'll be sharing with you that oil later on in the video. My back hair has also grown which is actually the slowest part of my hair it has grown so it's already reaching my bra straps. I actually can't wait to see how long it's going to grow this entire year. So for this portion I'm also going to go in by using two pumps but instead of using it for these two sections I'm just going to use it for one section because I want to have the same size of twist across all lengths. So you know that digesters tell you that oh it's just one section left and then it's, it splits it into almost 100 that's just exaggeration or this i just split it into two to get the same size of twist across a portion of my hair so this is how my entire hair looks this took me about two and a half hours as i was doing some things off camera but yours may take either more or less hours this is the oil I've been using for my edge growth and my scalp and it has really really helped in growth and it has reduced the soreness of my scalp so my scalp actually feels much better. So this oil, the first time I created it, it was it had a really nasty smell, this neem oil but the next time I created this batch that I'm using currently on my hair, it actually didn't stink as much as the previous oil so I could stand it. So if you'd like to see a video when I'm creating the next batch, let me know in the comment section down below. It's actually very easy to make and it is an aerobic herb so it actually helps to grow your hair after a period of time ensure doing the application of whatever oil you're going to be using on your hair but since i'm using my neem oil ensure you give it a nice massage this massage helps to stimulate your scalp for proper absorption of this diy oil or any oil of your choice you are using into your hair scalp so notice how my hair has the shine, the body and the bounce. I'm really excited for my new hair growth and I can't wait to share the new hair challenge I have coming up very soon. So I laid my edges off camera. I actually have not been laying my edges for a period of time so it's optional and I also accessorized off camera so you can do any of this too. It's actually an optional step. wrap on this mini twist tutorial thank you once again for tuning in and thank you so 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 much to my 1000 plus subscribers for the likes if you've not given this video a big thumbs up and sure you do so now let's get this video to a hundred likes thank you so much for the subscribers if you are yet to subscribe make sure you do so by hitting on the big red subscribe button and the notification bell subscribing is completely free let's get this youtube channel to 2000 subscribers by the end of next month you can also comment down below any type of tutorial sit down challenges you would like to see on this youtube channel i can't wait to see in my next video bye guys so, you know if you like to comment ah! the likes and also if you've not uh, get this youtube channel to a 2000 to 2000 subscribers by the end of next month bye guys Yay!